Kevin, you talked about it, man. A little hiatus, right? Hey. I mean, a, a year and a half away, a couple of canceled fights. I mean, how does it feel right now to finally be back on a fight week? Man, I'm happy. I'm happy to finally be here, man. It's been uh, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind to get here. A uh, couple of injuries, a couple of camps with no fights. Uh, and so I'm, I'm happy to be here, to say the least. I, I think of you as kind of a mentally strong guy, but I mean, this has to have been challenging even for you to deal with, right? I guess how difficult maybe has this stretch been for you? Man, uh, I'm not going to go into detail, man, but it's been hard, bro. It's been hard uh, on me. It's been hard on my family. It's been, it's, 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 it's been hard. <laughs> it went through the valley of the shadow of death on my own, you know, and uh, that's kind of what it feels like. Like mentally, I was at a, a, I was, you know, getting depressed, going through the injuries, like what am I, what's going on with my life? Like, why is this happening? Like I went through all that, you know, and, uh, but finally I'm on the other side now, man. I was able to get re-motivated. You know, it's, 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 it's hard getting re-motivated, hard getting up to train after going through all that, but, but I'm on the other side of it now. And, and I'm in a good place mentally, physically, spiritually, man. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Very happy to uh, continue to be doing what I love to do. That's awesome. So I guess then being on this big event, right? I mean, you know, pay-per-view, big card, Miami. I mean, does that kind of add extra to it? Like this is not just a, a fight night card right. or something. This is on a big blockbuster event. Yeah, man. I mean, my last fight with, with, with a public, with, with a crowd, was the Darren Till fight uh, in Madison Square Garden 2019. So that, that, it's been a few years with no crowds, and, and I missed it. At first, when that ha what was going on, I was like, ah, the crowds don't matter. I'm locked in, whatever. But you go in there after a couple fights, you're like, oh, man, yeah, it, it does make a difference having the crowds. And uh, I'm excited to be here with a full crowd, sold out crowd in Miami. Uh, I mean, this is a historic card, uh, a historic card. It's been 20 years since they've been here. Uh, and it's big fights. You got big fighters fighting this weekend. Man, I, I'm very, very ecstatic to be here. Talk about the matchup you have itself with Chris. I mean, obviously you fought the best in the world. What do you think about him as an opponent and what do you, you know, what challenges he offers? Yeah, he, I mean, he's been having a lot of success uh, boxing people. You know, he stays in your face and he boxes. Um, I don't see a lot of diversity in his, in his game. You know, he doesn't kick a lot and he does kick a little bit, but not a lot. It's not his main thing. He doesn't wrestle a lot, uh, but he has really good takedown defense. And so nobody, nobody's been able to take him down and keep him, keep him down. And so he's just been able to box everybody. Uh, I think my game is a little bit more complete. I have more tools in my toolbox, and I'm going to be able to, I think, pull, pull a lot of those out. And, and you're going to see a lot of my, my tools on display. Last thing for me, I mean, for the past years, you know, well, what, what comes next when you win? Where are you in the rankings? All that. Given everything that you've been through and how long that you've been away, like, are you even thinking about where I am in the division and where this puts me, or do you not even worry about that? At this no, point? I'm not even worried about it. I don't even keep track of that. Uh, I actually, well, I actually went back and looked at it not long ago, the rankings. I don't look at them. But I saw that I was 15, and I was like, oh, man, I, I don't think I've been, I, I don't remember the last time I was in the top 15. Uh, but I don't keep track, you know. I, I'll just fight anybody. I'll fight the best fighters in the world, um, whether I'm ranked 15 or, or third or fourth or fifth. Kellen, over here. Uh, you mentioned uh, Chris's 100% uh, takedown defense. Do you think that's because he's so good at defending takedowns or because he hasn't really fought a wrestler yet that can kind of test him in that category? I think it's that. I think he hasn't fought a wrestler that can, te can test that. Uh, I mean, there are some really good wrestlers in the middleweight division, but everybody is not, not everybody is wrestling. Uh, we're all just striking. We're all trying to knock each other's heads out. Uh, but for this fight, you can see, you, you know, I, I, you can expect to, to see some of my uh, wrestling back in there. And you, you obviously you mentioned the long layoff and everything, and a lot of the fights that maybe you had to pull out of or vice versa, it was close to the finish line, like you did a full camp and then you'd have to pull right. out. So how mentally exhausting was that to just, it was a lot of starting and stopping and then restarting for maybe a whole new opponent. That's what I'm saying, man. It was hard to get re-motivated again and, and keep going through that again, get mentally uh, motivated again, like, oh, God, I got to do this again. like. It, it was hard, man. It was a hard year and a half, and I'm not going to go into details because that's nobody's business, but it was hard. And, but So I, I'm, just, I'm just happy to be here. And, uh, Henry Cejudo did a, a video, and he said that your comeback will be the greatest comeback of all time. Is 
I'm assuming he knows what's going on with your life. Is that kind of what he means, like everything you went through to come back? Absolutely, man. This is this fight is this fight for me is just a re. I'm here to reaffirm to myself I'm still one of the baddest dudes in the world, and in turn, it's gonna it's gonna let everybody else know, right? But but here I'm just uh, I'm here this weekend more as a reaffirm reaffirmation. Is that the word? Uh, to myself that I'm I'm still here amongst the best. A couple things unrelated to your fight this past weekend. Uh, it was announced Endeavor bought the majority stake in the WWE. So now WWE and UFC is kind of a package deal right there. So what do you make of that partnership and Endeavor's new, what they did? Listen here, brother. Oh, no, I'm kidding. No, uh, I think it's cool. Hopefully, it's a, it's a good thing for the fighters. It's a good thing for uh, for uh, for the employees of the UFC. Hopefully, it's a good thing for the fighters. Um, hopefully, we see some merge, mergers going on. Who knows? Maybe we see somebody like Connor merging over, you know, something like that. You wouldn't want to put the mask on? Put a luchador mask on? Why not? Get Kane and me in a tag team. <laughs> And the final one for me, uh, can I get your thoughts on the main event? Obviously, you spent 25 minutes fighting Israel, but he has a big rematch. Ahead right. Of yeah, I, I thought Adesanya was going to win that last, you know, the, the, the fight that he had. Uh, and he almost did. Now that I think about it, though, it's hard to go against the data. It's hard to go against the history. I mean, the guy's got four victories over him, right? So uh, it's hard to go against that uh, three, three. So it's hard to go against all that data. Um, so I'm thinking Alex wins again, unless unless Adesanya uh, chooses to switch his game plan and wrestle. I think uh, this could be a different fight, and um, hopefully he uses that MMA experience to his advantage. I th he has more MMA experience than Alex, so hopefully he uses that to his advantage. Kelvin, um, just curious, have you crossed paths with Adesanya over here? And if so, yeah. I don't know if you guys have exchanged any. Just now, I saw him right now, and he said, what's up? Good luck. And uh, he didn't even know I was fighting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I got to ask, where obviously in Miami, there's going to be a huge Hispanic Latino presence, and obviously uh, with, your, with your roots. Uh, do you feel like you're going to be sort of the home, even though it's not your hometown, do you feel like you're going to be uh, cheered for and be sort of the hometown guy in a way? I mean, I hope so, you know. <laughs> um, you know, Every time I've been in Miami, man, Miami has been amazing to me. And uh, I've been here a few times. Uh, it's hurt my wallet a few times. Uh, but it, it, the people here are amazing, man. I love the diversity here. I love the culture here, the food, uh, the beautiful women. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a beautiful city yeah and I spoke to you back in October uh, at fight ready and uh, you were telling me how you know a lot of things have changed for you like people don't realize this but you're making a comeback and you moved states you moved you changed teams so I want to ask you how different is this version of Kelvin Gastelum that we're gonna see compared to the one that we saw a year plus ago a completely different man this has been a season of growth um, technically, mentally, spiritually, has been a season of growth. I've grown so much. Not only that, my last fight, I was 29 years old. I am 31 now. Like, uh, I'm putting on my, my, my big boy muscles now, and uh, I feel good, man. I feel good. A lot has changed. A lot has changed. Perspectives have changed. Uh, the way I view things change. I, I, I think I am maturing. <laughs> you think? I think. And um, last one, um, obviously with, uh, there's been a, a long layoff, right? Cancellations, injuries and whatnot. But are you almost thankful that there's been this much time of, of break in order to, you know, reconstruct, rebuild and come back stronger? It has been a little bit of a blessing in disguise. In no way, shape or form is two canceled bouts a good thing. But uh, it has been a little bit of a, dis a blessing in disguise, uh, getting, just getting healed up getting physically mentally healed um you know I, I, as awesome as this job is you know you get to a point where it does get monotonous it does get repetitive uh because that's what it is we repeat repeat wash and rinse is is, is what we do in this game and uh and i think i got away from I think I got away from the things that, that I like, and I was just tr going through the motions and kind of got lost 
in all of that, you know, and uh, it was good to get away from it for a year and a half and appreciate where I am, appreciate this company and appreciate uh, everything that, that comes with it, you know, and so, so yeah, it was, it was short, uh, to, to shorten it out, yeah, it was good, it was good. Thank you. <laughs> Over here. Yes. Hey. To expand a little bit about being in Miami and first time in 20 years, and I'm just curious, when something like that happens as a fighter, does that even put a little more emphasis to go out there and have a good show and want to get this thing back to South Florida whenever, or do you not think so much about that? Um, I think some people do. I think some people do. They want to go out there and they want to put on a good, good fight for the fans, good fight here in, in Miami. There's going to be a lot of big name celebrities coming into town to, to check out these fights. So yeah, man, we want to put on a good show. We want to make a good impact. We want to come back soon. And on the merger you mentioned, there have been crossovers we've seen like Ronda Rousey, Brock Lesnar, uh, Junior Dos Santos, even CM Punk coming over to your side to the MMA. And I'm just curious too, does that element of it help as far as when this merger gets announced that, oh, well, there's been crossover already with the fighters. So now doing this, does it even, hey, maybe there's more opportunity for us to do other things. Absolutely, this 100% this sets that up uh, even more so. Um, I think mergers would be a good thing. I mean, it'd be good for the athletes that want to do that. Um, yeah, I think it's a good thing, man. I think it's a great, great thing. Kelvin, over here to your left. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm curious your take, you know, in this fight, you, you opened up as an underdog, and now you're a slight favorite. I'm just kind of curious, like, if you have a take on why you might have been the underdog, if you think you should have been the underdog. I don't know. I like it when I'm the underdog. I feel like I fight better when I'm the underdog. I fight better when the pressure's on. I fight better when people don't expect me to win. And I think uh, when people have expected me to win, I kind of take it for granted and I'm like, ah, you know. Uh, I think when people don't expect me to win, that's when I'm at my best. Perfect. And then just kind of curious, you know, how you maybe see yourself winning this fight. Decision, putting them away, what's your, what's your take on that? I have no idea. I have no idea. I have so many things planned for this fight. Um, I have no idea how it's going to go. But I have a lot of cool, cool things planned for this fight, and uh, I'm excited. Hey, uh, Kevin. Rafa. I'm going to ask you in Portuguese, okay? Uh, fala um pouquinho para o pessoal do Brasil como que é essa tua luta de sábado, como que você está, como foi seu treino. Estou uh, tô, tô muito feliz de estar de volta. Um ano e meio de sim luta, dois campamentos sim luta, então foi difícil, cara. Foi, foi muito difícil de estar de volta para fazer todo o, o, o trabalho que tem que fazer para estar de volta fisicamente e mentalmente aqui. É, foi muito difícil, uh, mas agora estou no outro, lugar, no outro lado disso e estou em um estou num lugar mentalmente e fisicamente muito bem. É muito muito preparado para a luta. Estou hum, feliz, estou feliz de estar aqui. Just a standard question of how he's feeling and telling to the Brazilian crowd how you're feeling. It's such a, a year and a half, two camps, um, but all the work that that I had to put in uh, to actually to be back here, and so happy to be on the other side of this right now. Uh, very happy and very prepared. So go forward. Thank you. E fala um pouquinho do que, que você acha da luta do, do Alex com o Adesanya. Eu pensei que a Arasanha ia ganhar a, a luta que, que tu viu, né? Mas um, Alex, é Alex, é Alex, né? He's, ele, é, ele é bom, cara. Um monstro. E um, eu pensava que a Arsane ia ganhar por, só por a experiência na MMA. Né? Alex não tem muitas lutas no MMA, então eu, eu pensava que a experiência da MMA favoriza a uh, Então, nesta luta, se não mudou do seu jogo, eu acho que vai ser a, a mesma res, re, resultado. 
I really thought that in the main event the last time that I decided I was going to get it, especially because of the, I thought that the advantage uh, of the MMA experience would actually be to his advantage. Um, but as it turns out, Alex is Alex. He's a monster. He's a big guy. He can do things. Um, but I do feel that if, if uh, I decide he has not changed anything in his game plan, I'm going to see the same result this Saturday. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you.